if you are trying to make more money and someone said you don't have an abundance mindset, this is the video for you. All right, so what the heck is an abundance mindset? You guys, if you are around those of us in the personal and professional development industry, you're gonna hear us talk about this. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, because success in life, especially around money, is only 20% strategy. So why is it one person can pick up a book and read about the strategy and implement it and grow their wealth, and someone else can read the exact same book and stay broke? What the heck is that about, right? The strategy is just the strategy. 20% of success around money is your strategy. The 80% that actually matters is what's going on up here. And this is why we talk about an abundance mindset. So what the heck is an abundance mindset? Is this even real? I get it, when I first started out, and I heard that I'm like, wait, I'm supposed to sit on my couch and like, oh, I'm a millionaire. Yeah, no, I know it feels like a load of hooey, right? And I believe me, if that's where you are, I feel you, I got you. And the way that I like to talk about abundance, really, for you, you are abundant. How do I know that? Have you ever cut your finger? Does it cost anything for your body to be able to heal that? No. When you're thirsty, what does your body say? Could you get some water, please? <laughs> right? Your body will tell you what it needs and you take care of it. As long as it's an able body, right? That's usually the pattern. And that is everywhere in nature. That is real. And the power of abundance is actually beating your heart right now. Are you breathing air? It's always there, right? That is abundance. Abundance is what has the sun come out every day and that the sun provides all of that energy for all of us. It's abundant. And then our mindset comes in and says, no, it's not. So how do we get to that mindset that actually helps us understand we are abundant and we can make all the money we want. And if you're having trouble with money, I know what I said just sounded flippant. I got it. I totally feel all that. I completely understand that. So just take a second to, and recognize every single one of us has been conditioned to believe there's not enough. And I will share, I was raised incredibly poor. I was afraid of pretty much anything that had to do with money. Why? Because I was taught to be. This idea that money's hard to come by, you have to struggle, it's really tough to get. All these things that we all saw and it was modeled for us, right? My favorite, as a woman, have you ever gone in to buy a car? Do you love how they talk to you like you're an idiot? How many of us have that mindset? So here I am, I'm gonna say, listen, <laughs> pick up a book. One of my favorites is Profit First. If you don't have it yet, grab it. It's by Mike Michalowicz, it's genius. Money, master the game, Tony Robbins, genius. The Illusion of Money by Kyle Cease, go grab it. Incredible, right? Every one of these is gonna teach you something about how to deal with this thing we call money. And every one of us, you will dissect it differently, you'll hear it differently based on the mindset you have as you pick it up. So you're gonna say, but Sarah, really, okay, what do I do about this? One, you have to know what's happening. You have to actually be aware of all of the different ways that you have blocked money from your life. And if you actually think about it, you'll start to see it. And it could have been the famous one, right? Money doesn't go on trees. Like all these things that you heard maybe when you were younger or just watching the lack. I'm gonna say something a little bit severe here. All of that was handed to you without your permission. Nobody asked you if it was okay that they taught you that scarcity is the only way to go. Right, that is something that just gets shoved on top of us without our permission. And unfortunately, like little seeds, it got planted and it grows. And then you start to believe it and then you start to see it and then you go, see, I told you. But here's the really cool thing about our minds and this is why it's 80% success. As you start to write down all the beliefs you have that are total hooey, you gotta know what they are. You gotta get really honest. I'm gonna be straight with you. This part's not fun. Making the money is great, but this part's not fun. And until you really break them down and understand them, they're gonna keep running the show. So I'd invite you on one piece of paper, write down all of them. I'm bad with money. Maybe you have the belief that the only way that you can make a lot of money is if you destroy your health and your relationships and your well being along the way, right? So you gotta get all these out because they're gonna be allowed to run the show as long as you don't know they're there. Then what you can do is flip over that piece of paper and counterdict every single one of those beliefs. But I want you to think about something. Looking at your bank account, scary. It's arduous and hard and scary and it's gonna suck all your joy. So if you wrote down on your piece of paper, for example, looking at my bank account is scary. Dealing with money is gonna drain me. Right, those kinds of things. And I really want you to get serious with yourself about what you believe about what's possible with money, all right? So you've done that, yeah? Flip that over. And now we flip that into, I love looking at my bank account. Managing my money gives me so much energy. I get so pumped. Do you feel the difference in that? I know, it sounds like I'm just saying, oh, just feel different and everything will change, except I want you to watch your own behavior. If you ever notice if you're having a great day, everything seems to go your way, and if you're having a really crappy day, everything seems to go wrong. Have you ever made a financial decision and felt so good about it? Did you not just go home and look at your bank account and go, I'm freaking amazing? How you view the world, it changes everything. 
everything. And then when you're in that mindset of like, this is a joy. I love managing my money. I've got nothing to be afraid of here. This is fourth grade math, man. I got this and I'm really good at it. You start having that kind of an attitude because you've rewritten these beliefs and then you pick up profit first and then you pick up money master the game and then you pick up the illusion of money. Do you want to watch everything change? It'll change like that because you're going to hear something and you're going to go, yes, I got it. You're going to hear something and realize you're going to start saving, even if it's $5 a week. And then you bump that up to $15 a week. And then you bump it up to $50 a week. And then you bump it up to $500 a week. And you turn that into an automatic like, oh yeah, dude, I totally keep my money. I manage it. I love it. I invest it. You start switching into that. Everything changes, but it all starts up here. It doesn't matter what strategy you use. Almost all of them will work. This is where the abundance mindset lives. And the way to really cultivate that abundance mindset is to get crystal clear on what you truly believe specifically about money and rewriting those beliefs and reading that. If you really want to kick some assets, you read that every morning, you read it at lunchtime and you read it before you go to bed. If you really want an abundance mindset, that's where it is. Because if you're on this planet, you have access to money right now. We all do. It's how we use it. It's how we manage it. It's how we view it. It's how we feel about it. That is everything. So start working on that abundance mindset, which is real by the way. And then you can pick up any strategy you want and watch it work because it will. All of a sudden you're gonna be like, holy cannoli, I have all that money in my savings account. And instead of the old mindset going, oh, I have to spend that because I'll never have more. That is a scarcity mindset. Instead, the wealthy abundant mindset will say, where am I gonna invest that that it's gonna get even bigger? Because that's how wealthy people think because they're never afraid it's gonna run out. And for most of us, you're not scared your heart's gonna keep beating through the rest of this video because abundance is at work for you all the time. You're just not seeing it because your mindset isn't aligned with where abundance actually is. All right, I hope this was super helpful. I know it can feel woo woo, it can feel magical and you're like, Sarah, what strategy? Pick any strategy you want. That part doesn't matter as much as it matters how you're approaching your money and how you're working to make sure those awful, restrictive, scarcity mindset beliefs are hiding and that you eliminate them and bring them out into the sunlight and rewrite them so they work for you. If you loved this video, please hit subscribe because I come at you every week with great gooey goodness and I don't want you to miss a beat. Because over here at Team Sarah, we like to put more money in the hands of more women. And that includes you. I'll see you in the next Sarah Uncut.